Good morning. Billy, could you please read the problem? And Bo, could you please translate? Flippin' physics. The wheel of a bike rotates exactly three times in 12.2 seconds. Please stop. So, theta equals three revolutions. Actually, Bo, three revolutions is not just the angular position, but rather it is the change in angular position. Yeah, so uh, change in theta equals three revolutions, and change in time equals 12.2 seconds. M Mr. P, are we really supposed to use one significant digit for three revolutions? Okay. Sometimes physics problems use this word exactly when referring to a number, and we interpret that to mean the number has as many significant digits as we need it to. Hopefully you recognize this is not possible. However, you will probably see the word exactly in problems, so I thought I would include it. Thanks, Mr. Okay. B. Billy, could you please keep reading? What is the average angular velocity of the wheel in A, radians per second, and B, revolutions per minute? Average angular velocity equals question mark in both radians per second and revolutions per minute. Bo, what is the symbol for angular velocity? It's like a curly W. Omega. Bobby, please solve part A. Okay, uh, the equation for average angular velocity is omega equals change in angular position over change in time, so three revolutions over 12.2 seconds, but that would give us revolutions per second, and we need radians per second. One revolution equals 360 degrees equals two pi radians. Right, so uh, multiply by 2 pi radians over one revolution to cancel out revolutions, and uh, we get uh, 1.54505, or uh, 1.55 radians per second with three significant digits. Billy, could you please do part B? Please convert the angular velocity from radians per second to revolutions per minute. Well, we can multiply the angular velocity by 60 seconds over one minute to convert to minutes, and multiply by one revolution over two pi radians to convert to revolutions, um, and that is uh, 145.617, or... Oh, wait. Actually, that doesn't make any sense. I got 14.8 pi. Actually, it's 46.351. Unfortunately, you are all wrong. <laughs> there are three common mistakes when converting from radians per second to revolutions per minute, and you each made one of them. Uh, before we discuss your mistakes, let's get the correct solution on the board. When we do this correctly, the answer is 14.8 revolutions per minute. Now, Bobby, you added pi to your answer even though you had already divided by pi. I do not understand why students do this, however, sometimes they do. So realize when you include pi in your calculator calculations, which you should always do when finding an answer in physics, then you no longer have pi in your answer. Okay, that makes sense. Bo, where Bobby added an extra pi, you simply ignored it. That's correct you forgot to multiply by the number pi. Please remember to multiply by pi. You cannot simply ignore it. Right. Billy, your mistake is actually in the use of your calculator and is the most common student mistake. When you divide by two pi on your calculator, you need to be careful to put parentheses around two pi. If you do not put parentheses around two pi, then you are, according to the order of operations, telling your calculator to divide by two and then multiply by pi. To make matters worse, this is not true of every calculator. So please check to make sure you know how to divide by two pi on your calculator. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's not how my calculator works. <laughs> Mr. P, for part B, could we not just go back to the equation for average angular velocity and divide three revolutions by 12.2 seconds? and then convert by multiplying by 60 seconds over one minute to get the same 14.8 revolutions per minute? 
Absolutely, Bobby. We could solve it that way. And in the future, you sh certainly should. However, if we had, we would not have made those mistakes. And I find students learn more by making mistakes than by doing everything correctly. That is why I intentionally led you toward the mistakes. The mistakes you made on your own. That's great. <laughs> we learn Letting more us make from mistakes. You. Great teaching strategy. Please, do your best to avoid these common mistakes when converting from radians per second to revolutions per minute. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.